So Netflix, what have you done now? Apparently, according to Netflix, only five years ago, love is sharing a password. Everybody used Netflix. You've got an account. You're allowed so many people on it. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Not anymore. We're going to get right into this one. Are you a Netflix user? Let us know underneath in the comments. It's only going to be a quick video tonight. But let me know in the comments if you use Netflix, if you used to use Netflix. Um, if you cancelled Netflix, what you plan to do with Netflix. And we're going to talk about what they are cracking down on, what they have said, what has come out. And we're also going to cut into a little bit about how um, using VPNs we want to be a little bit careful of and how it can work and which VPNs do work with it near the end. So let's get cracking. Here is our Netflix. Netflix works well. I'm logged in. Um, people use my account in my household. Uh, sometimes the in-laws use my Netflix account and that may be about to change. Because accidentally yesterday, Netflix leaked. You will see it all over the news at the moment. You've got Netflix new password sharing policy. They revealed how they were going to crack down on it, how they're going to stop you sharing passwords with family members and other people. So, here we go then. Netflix accidentally posts guidelines for cracking down on password sharing. And there's one key thing they said, pretty much one key thing they said is pretty much what they're doing already out in Chile, Peru, Costa Rica. What they're going to make you have to do is on your device, you use Netflix on like my PC right here or my mobile phone, my obviously Fire Sticks, Fire TV Cubes, you will need to log that device into your home network once every 31 days. Okay, that makes sense. So it doesn't mean you just have to use it once in 31 days. It needs to be logged into your home network every 31 days. So every household has an IP address. You have your IP address and you will need to log into your home network through your Netflix once, pretty much once a month. OK, so for instance, if I had a family member who was using my Netflix um, somewhere else, they would need to make sure they bring their device to my house every 31 days, because if they don't log into my network within the 31 days, they won't be able to access it. It will be blocked. OK, so that device will no longer be verified. They won't be able to use it anymore. That is the main thing they're cracking down on. Um, it's going to be a bit of a pain um, when it comes down to sharing passwords. That's what they want. But really what they're after is more people not sharing passwords so they get more money. That's the gist of it. It's all about money, isn't it? One thing, their prices went up this year. Now they want more money from them. Okay? Their prices went up, then they want more money as well. And this is a bit of a pain. Obviously, we, no one wants to be paying more money. Um, I let people use our account because that helps them out and it saves them money. Like... I let some family members use an account. I've got an account I let my mum use, which has adverts on which I purchased um, for a trial for you guys to show a demonstration. I let my mum use that one. You know, it's not specifically, you know, you want to help out family sometimes. That's how it works, giving back. So this is currently Netflix policy on sharing your Netflix account. People who do not live in the household will need to use their own account to watch Netflix. It's easy to sign up for Netflix. We have a variety of plans. As always, members can change plans or cancel at any time. When a device outside of your house side signs into your, an account or is used persistently, we may ask you to verify that device before it can be used to watch Netflix or your Netflix household. So verifying the device will be like two-factor authentication. There'll be, say, a message come through to my phone. Are they allowed to use it? I'd click yes or no, depending. Okay. Netflix will not automatically charge you if you share your account with someone who doesn't live with you. So they were gonna, there'll be warnings. They will tell you such and such whether you can or can't use it. Netflix account is meant to be shared in one household. People who live in the same location with the account holder, people who are not in your household will need to sign up for their own account. Who Netflix. But you know, I'm still a Netflix fan. I will currently continue to use Netflix, but this may make it tricky for people who maybe buy Netflix abroad and move. It may make it tricky when you move house. I'm sure there is things in place for that where you have to change your home IP address. But it also makes it a little bit tricky for some of us who like to hide our IP address. Um, a lot of us like to use a VPN, for instance, and we like to keep our IP address hidden. So we log into Netflix all the time using a VPN. But that is not your home network anymore. So if you are logging in to Netflix with your VPN on um, for your own privacy to try and keep your IP address hidden, to continue to use it in the future, you will once a month have to log in on your personal IP address. Okay, so you'd have to log in without your VPN on. 
But this is one I think to be worth just keeping a little eye on as well if you use your VPN for Netflix. Um, like we have demoed, where are we? If I can find it. We did demonstrate here, 10% unlock Netflix, how to use your Netflix all around the world. This is so you can log in and use get American Netflix, uh, Canadian Netflix, Australian Netflix, French Netflix, whichever, um, where they get different content. You don't want to do it too many times one after each other, okay? This video, I will link this video underneath. You don't want to use it too many times back to back, okay? Um, so you don't want to be suddenly in America, suddenly in France, suddenly in Australia, logging in from your different VPN servers because they're going to think, surely he's sharing his password. Maybe do it once or twice, once a day, you know, try something different, but not 10 times straight after each other. It's going to look a bit, what are they doing? Because they don't like it and we don't want you getting banned. You know, that's all that can happen. They can either ban you, cancel your account, you'll just sign up again if you want to or not. But obviously, again, with your VPN, just make sure you do disconnect, log into your home network once into your Netflix while you are going through it. Because if you don't, they're going to obviously threaten to shut your account down. But more likely, you will get an email through or a notification pop up on the app saying you haven't logged in from your house for a while. Please do this. And then you'll suddenly do it. Then you can log back in with your VPN as well. If you are after a VPN, this Nord deal is linked underneath. It's an exclusive deal we have with one month free, plus all your malware protection, and it does work with the likes of Netflix and other streaming apps. And a quick one before I leave, do let me know your thoughts underneath on Netflix and on what's going on. Are you a Netflix user, like we said? Are you interested in Netflix anymore? Are you going to change? The big things they're after is more money from you. And um, we get that. It's big business. They spend a lot of money. On films but at the moment Netflix seems to be getting a little bit less content a little bit more expensive and now we kind of share it with our family and friends you know it's not the best marketing strategy but it seems to be they've been rolling it out abroad it's now being rolled out into the UK um, USA as well and we will see how it goes um, again they don't like it they don't like you sharing there's not much we can do about it um, as things plan out we will see what happens we will see if there's a way if you bought your Netflix elsewhere, you should be able to change it, but they may try and change your price. For instance, if you bought your Netflix abroad and that's not your home network anymore, then your registry home network will say in the UK, they may try and then change your pricing to the UK pricing, where there used to be a little trick where you could buy it, say in Turkey, or I think it was Pakistan, and you could get cheaper Netflix, but that account would still work anywhere around the world, no matter what. But hey ho. We will see what happens. We will keep you updated. That's a good reason to subscribe to the channel, to stay up to date with what's happening with Netflix. And I've been Dr. Quiffy. This is the Dr. Quiffy channel. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice weekend, and I'll see you soon.